Any signs of foul play? Signs? Blood stains in the apartment, her car, uh, missing or broken items? Um, no, no blood, uh, no broken items, and well, I, I wouldn't know if anything's missing. Any missed calls or uh, frantic messages? Maybe she just doesn't like you anymore. Oh, yeah, well, feelings mutual. But I made a promise, you know, one of those deathbed promises. So she doesn't want to see you anymore, and we waste a shit ton of taxpayer money for no reason. It's not a crime to walk away. <sighs> Don't mind her. Princess is on the rag. What? You want to say something? Do it. One more strike. One more write-up. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. I'll be in the car. Let me know when you're done fucking around. It's not you, sweetheart. He doesn't like to make house calls. Personally, I'll take any opportunity to get out of the office. So much gray. <laughs> but he is right. There isn't much we can do. I can make some inquiries, but I have lots of open cases. You have only one. So don't stop looking. And here's my cell if you think you're onto something. Thanks. So she texted me. Or someone else texted you from her phone. Well, can't you, like, triangulate the position of the text or whatever? Jesus, Marishka, who do you think we are? We can't allocate funds for a random missing person. Unless your sister is the fucking first lady. So, so there's nothing we can do? All right, give me your number. I'll see what I can do. But I promise nothing. And then they drove me right to my car, and I drove straight here. Did you get her name? Um, Iskandar just called her his superior. What? Jesus. You know who I'm talking about? So you can help me. If she is who we think she is, then no. No, definitely no. We shouldn't even be talking to her. Definitely not here. What does this have to do with my sister? We appreciate the legwork you did, but your sister seems to have tripped right into the honey badger den. So you can't help get her back? There are already cops down this hole, both sides. We can't touch this. Easy. This conversation is officially over. You want to get yourself in trouble, be my guest, but not here. He's right. We shouldn't talk here. <laughs> is that what you wanted? Exactly. I gotta gram it before I partake. Well, this is how we do it in Kansas and probably the rest of the world. Hmm. So, he doesn't know. Uh, he's a racist and homophobe, but he's not an idiot. It's fine. Officer Krupke and me have an understanding. He's an asshole, and I ignore him. <laughs> oh, my God. What's that gold stuff on top? Gold shavings. Like, gold gold? That doesn't seem very cost effective. Well, it does cost 75 bucks. That donut is $75? Um, it's THE donut. Beat Cop Magazine, Eater LA's Donut of the Year, three years running. I just got the glazed. You sure did, Dorothy. Listen, any advice you have about Easy, how sister. Let's warm up first. It's 80 degrees. Vocal warm-ups. Lubricate the pipes. I live nearby. <sighs> they say F. Scott Fitzgerald died here. Ate a Charleston chew, fell off his chair right over there. Wow. You're a cop. I am a human being with needs. So do you have anybody special in your life? Oh, it's hard. I won't dip my pen in the company ink, and I will never get involved with a civilian. Well, who does that leave? Ryan Gosling and the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> To life! <laughs> okay! <laughs> I love ya, Swanee! How I love ya, how I love ya, my dear old Swanee! The
folks up north will see me no more. Last call. What you did to meet the superior took some serious balls. I'm talking Glenn Close size balls. <laughs> to your health. I know something about your sister. So I can't let you sniff around anymore. 